I'm here with Stella, and I want to answer a question that I receive multiple times a week. And that is, why didn't my cats have to wear a cone or a collar after they were spayed or neutered? And the reason why is because they did not have any external stitches. In the spay and neuter recovery video that I posted, I explained that uh, the vet told me that Stella had three layers of stitches and there were two internal layers of stitches. Those were, I guess, some kind of normal stitches or stitches that dissolved over time. There were no stitches used on her external skin. Instead, they used surgical glue to close the incision. So uh, there were no stitches for her to bite out. And the vet said just to keep an eye on her. And if she starts over grooming that area or focusing on it too much uh, or uh, basically irritating that area to let them know, uh, but just some normal grooming would not be a problem. So I basically kept an eye on her for a while, probably for a few weeks, just until I knew uh, that it was healing properly and, you know, she was not over grooming the area. I did let her lick it occasionally um, and groom it like she normally would, but other than that, she did not try to over groom it. She did not try to bite open the incision or anything like that. So that is the reason why uh, neither Stella nor Simba nor Splash later, none of them had to wear cones or collars or anything like that. So um, I hope this information is helpful for you. If your vet has sent your cat home with a cone or a collar, and if you have questions about it, please call your vet. Do not be afraid to talk to your vet or to ask them questions. Ask your vet a million questions. That's what I do. I ask them questions uh, before any kind of surgery or treatment. I want to know everything about what they're doing to my cat. I want to know uh, how they're doing it. I want to know when they're doing it. I want to know why they're doing it. Always ask them why, why are you doing this? and uh, find out what procedures they're using. And then, um, you know, when you take your cat home, before you take your cat home, ask your vet a million more questions. It's much better to have more information than not enough information. And you also have to remember that when you take your cat to a vet, you are hiring that vet to perform a service for you. You are hiring them for their expertise in a certain area. So they work for you. You are paying them. So in a sense, you are their boss. You're obviously not going to tell them how to uh, perform a spay or neuter surgery because that's why you're hiring them. You're hiring them for that expertise. But since you are paying them, you have every right to ask them any kind of question that you want with regards to your pet, the health of your pet, and uh, any and all actions or prescriptions that your vet is making on behalf of your pet. Do not be afraid to talk to your vet and do not feel weird about asking your vet a million questions. In fact, it's a really good idea to interview vets before you settle on uh, one vet that you uh, take your cats to on a regular basis. I did a ton of research on local vets uh, before I made some appointments at some local vets and one local vet I went to, I didn't even like how they were uh, handling Simba that time. I was like, what kind of vet is going to pick up a cat like that? That didn't make any sense. And um, I was just very uncomfortable uh, with what they were doing with him. So I, I never went back to that vet and I found a different vet. And so far I've been, I've been happy um, with the current vet that uh, I've been taking the cats to. Um, but anyway, so um, never be afraid of asking your vet questions. And if you have any kind of questions about uh, your cat's behavior after a spay or neuter surgery, 
call up your vet's office and ask them uh, what they think about it, get their advice. Um, that's what they're there for. And it's always a good idea to do that. I understand it's really common to uh, search for information on the internet, um, especially when uh, it's like the middle of the night and the vet's office is not open. But always make sure to talk to your vet about what's going on with your cat and find out from them what they think uh, is going on with the situation because uh, they're the ones that perform the spay and neuter surgery and and they would have uh, the best information for you. So I hope this video was helpful and I hope your cat or cats are doing well. Stella says she had that surgery such a long time ago. It was four years ago at this point. She's happy she doesn't have to have it done again. She says once is enough. Thank you for watching this Lucky Ferals video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.